Hi guys, so we're about a week on from the last video. I've got my other Tech Syndicate t-shirt on and this is my video for the overclocked 7850K. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologise for it's taking so long actually and this is actually because I've recently updated, because I had a new SSD and then I put put Windows 8 back onto it and I needed to upgrade it to Windows 8.1 and then it had some problems with the program so I thought I'd fixed it and I had, well it works fine on my Intel one but I put it onto, the, onto this one and everything went really slowly and I couldn't work out which program it was I didn't want to waste time so I just got a different drive with Windows 7 on it and yeah I had to put all the games onto there yeah and then blah 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 yes but I finally got it it's done I've got the results and we're all good so anyway, if you want to know about the technology inside this and want to see what it's like at stock against the 6800K, the previous generation APU flagship, then if you can click this link right here. Okay, cool, that's out of the way. Okay, so let's talk about, a little bit about the overclock. Uh, I've gone personally for like a balance between the two. I mean, I know some people just shove up the CPU and then go, oh look, it can go this high, and then shove up the GPU, oh look, it can go this high. I've, kind of, I've done the two together, so it ended up at, the CPU was at 4.5 gigahertz, and the uh, GPU was at 1029 megahertz. The RAM I kept at 2133. I did try pushing that out, but it didn't like doing that with with an overclock on both the other things. So, yeah, if, if you played around a little bit, you probably could get a better overclock out of it, but, you know, I don't have all oh, that much time. Uh, this was done in conjunction with the ASUS A88XM Plus and the Corsair H100i, so I didn't have any temperature problems whatsoever. And in the end, I didn't use the GPU boost thing on the motherboard, I just did it manually myself because it was much easier that way. Okay, so yeah, let's get on with it. I don't have to talk about the technology this time, it should be a much shorter video. This time, I've focused the benchmarks. On the gaming side, I didn't really do much with the productivity because, frankly, I was using Premiere for that or Premiere, and uh, I didn't want to put that on there and find all the files because the file that I was using to test it had lots of little bits of diff different other files. I could just yeah no, so it. So um, what I did was, I just I've just skipped out kind of the productivity stuff. I've been, I've done the two Unity tests and I've done three D Mark as a synthetic test, but then I got just the game ones after, and I think that's what you guys are really interested in. So I have had some feedback on the graphs that I was using for the benchmarks from last time, and I, I've changed them up a little bit for you guys now. I've made some of the writing much bigger, so it's a lot clearer. Uh, there was a thing where it was, because I just used LibreOffice in a spreadsheet, highlight it all, put it into a graph that way. Uh, so I'm no kind of expert with that type of thing. It's a bit out of my, you know, I can do it though. Uh, so what I've done is just, I've made it really clear what the numbers are in each bar so yeah let me know what you think of that whether you th think I've got any other improvements I could make to them I mean like I say it's not my area of expertise if you've got any better suggestions on how I should do them then please do let me know I do appreciate constructive feedback thank you okay so that's all out of the way and let's look at the benchmarks <laughs> There we go, we have had a pretty decent improvement, you see. It's around five frames per second, there or thereabouts, depending on the game. And obviously you have to take into account the fact that I'm probably not the best gamer to be doing exactly the same identical test each time. I, I 
fully admit I do struggle to get it absolutely perfect. And anyone thinking, oh, he's a, oh, this isn't the same as somebody else who did, yeah, but I'm just I'm not going to be the most perfect. So please, this is just going to show you a general idea of what it can do. And if it gets lower, it's lower than this one. That one, well, I got it from playing the game, so you know you're not necessarily going to follow my benchmark pattern. So anyway, yeah, enough defensive stuff going. So yeah, Bioshock Infinite is now over the 30 frames per second mark, so that's definitely, definitely playable. Battlefield 4 is near on like 0.2 of a frames per second off 30, and like with, again with Mantle that's not going to matter, though I did say it was going to come out within a week. I was led to believe that Mantle would be released within a week from the last video. Yeah, that hasn't happened. I don't know why I'm surprised. Crisis 3 had a good 5 frames per second, 4 to 5 frames per second improvement, but again that's still not playable. Grid 2, I noticed it was lower than with the 6800k but their benchmarking utility in there doesn't it's not identical each time and it's over 60 come on let's you know it doesn't really matter tomb raider 34 frames per second now that's that's decent fifa don't, don't even need to talk about that assassin's creed need for speed rivals that you can't unless you turn it down from 1080p now in my opinion i would never go down below 1080p at least i mean i usually game at 1440p on this one but I mean, if you're willing to game at 720p, you will get much, much better results because that will bring it up a lot. But in my opinion, that's not a worthwhile gaming experience. So, yeah, those games with this aren't aren't playable in my opinion. And as you see in the synthetic tests, Unigine, Heaven and Valley, and the 3D Mark Fire Strike, you got we've got some pretty decent improvements on the numbers over that. But again, that's just a synthetic benchmark. It means absolutely nothing really. So yeah, as I said before, there is more improvement. To come up this you could probably squeeze another maybe one or two frames per second out maybe too hopeful but you could definitely give it a little bit more of a boost if you can like you want to spend the time fiddling around getting the memory to run at 2400 megahertz that will make a big difference and like just trying to bump that gpu clock up a little bit and yeah that could make a really big difference but yeah like i said i didn't really have the time to like spend hours and hours and hours and hours re constantly resetting going into the bios so yeah there we go now, in the future, I do plan on putting a, an R7 card of some kind. I've got a 260X still somewhere, so if that'll crossfire or dual graphics, then I'll be trying that. Though I am going to wait. I wouldn't hold out too much for that. It's going to be once AMD have released some newer drivers to support it better because it's a little bit instable at the moment. So, At the time of making this video, they are, the dual graphics support isn't all that great for the newer APUs yet. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all I've got. Thank you guys very much for watching. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of the overclocking capability of one of these? I mean, I'm pretty impressed by how flexible it was. I mean, I did get some instability when putting it up. I mean, lots of people have said like they can get, get like 4.7 and that. But I think that was with not bumping up the GPU clock. I think if you want to keep the G your GPU clock at 720, you, can, you might be able to put your CPU clock up to like 4.8 or whatever. But I think for gaming, you'll get you want it kind of, the GPU clock is going to be more important, but you've got to lift both of them at the same time to avoid one affecting the other. So that's my opinion. Please, guys, let me know what you think down there. Okay, so do, the, do all the social media stuff. It's all linked in the description. You can leave a comment on our website now if you like. You can be the first to do that. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time.